y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're notified every time i post a new video and if you're not new here welcome back. this video if you haven't read by the title is um a freshman advice slash like high school it's just like this can just go towards anybody in high school who needs some type of advice on like certain things but it's mainly for freshmen because you know they're new to high school okay so the first thing on here is like actually first off i'm gonna talk about like how high school is not what the movies and some people like make it to be like it's not all dancing and singing and just having fun there's a lot of work it's a lot it's it's this hard i don't want to say high school is not fun because it definitely is fun i definitely be fooling around in the hallways but it is a lot of work so don't think it's gonna be all perfect okay with that my first thing is going to be about classes um with classes like don't push yourself too hard to be in uh, like advanced classes if you're good at a subject and they offer you to get put in an advanced class or in a higher class then you know you could take that if you feel like it but if you really feel like you're not in a place to do that don't push yourself and think well i kind of have to do it then i'm not going to be successful and i'm not gonna don't do it like i was in on i was in two honors classes and the rest regions classes in my freshman year and i dropped I, I well actually i kept doing global but i dropped that and then i kept doing english for my 10th grade year because i just i'm going into my junior year i kept doing um english honors but i i don't want to do it no more because i don't really like reading i like to write but i don't really like reading it's really hot in here i can't turn around that ac because it, it the sound the sound but um for 11 if you take the apa lane it's you have to read a book through the summer and i would have had to read a book through this summer and stuff and write about it and do essays i'm not doing that i'm chilling in my bed so but yeah just don't push yourself too hard if you feel like you can't do it or you feel like it's gonna stress you out the second thing is about drama because high school is filled with drama like it, you turn around there's drama staring in your face there's always drama in high school like there's never a day that somebody's not talking about somebody there's never people always talk so don't go around like just thinking that you about it or thinking that you the shit and like I do curse first off let me let me get that shit I do curse I do be cursing I don't curse every second of my video but I do curse so I'm gonna curse sorry um don't be yeah going around thinking that you about it and like thinking you can just pick on people or like just start problems with people for no reason people are going to talk about you I promise you that anywhere you go people are gonna talk about you they're gonna look at you they're gonna whisper to their friends. Me, now certain certain people, I, I'll be like, ah, okay. I, sometimes I can't control my facial expression. I just be looking at people like, cause what, what are you doing? But really just like, you know, trying to ignore that. <clears throat> trying to ignore that. Try to like, you know, stay out of the way of drama don't like sometimes drama just finds you i know drama be kind of me i know this one girl she was really trying me this year she was really trying me this year like for months like she did different things like girl boy <laughs> this girl brought soap to school no first off first off it started because i didn't want to be friends with her best friend anymore i told her that da, da, it was left off a week later um the girl she she texted me on some stuff da, da, da. i'm like girl i know you're not about anything so no and i blocked her oh i texted some stuff back but i blocked her and she she took it upon herself to bring soap 
soap to school wipes and cranberry juice to say that I stink and was showing everybody and doing all this. And I was just like, girl, I don't even care because I know I don't stink. People don't tell me I ever stink. They tell me I smell good. So, and yeah, so I was just like, girl, whatever. And then that was just an ongoing, it should be done before me, before somebody else, then come back to me ever. It, it would go on for four months. It went on for four months, but it stopped. But yeah, it stopped because it did. You know, don't go around bullying people. But also, don't let people walk all over you. Like, if somebody's trying to bully you or trying to play in your face, like they, they trying to do something to you, you know, stand up for yourself because at the end of the day, nobody's going to have you more than you. So if somebody's trying to push you around and do all that, you know, stand up for yourself. I'm not saying like, just sit there and let somebody smack you in your face or something or let somebody just talk in your face like they trying to hit you, like they about to fight you or something but don't you know go around starting fights and stuff it's at the end of the day this that drama is not going to be worth it it's not going to be worth it a lot of it you're not going to remember when you're off doing bigger and better things so why do it also with drama don't get into fights try your best not to get into fights if it gets back to the school or if you do it in school you're gonna get suspended for my school they've been suspending people for months i'm talking half the year no if you do fight i'm not promoting violence i'm not promoting violence don't think i'm promoting violence but if you do fight fight outside of school because and don't be doing all that, doing it in school. Because if the school does find out, you're getting suspended. Oh, that will be in your records. That will be in your records f forever. Like, colleges will see that, jobs will see that, all that. They'll see that, that you got suspended. And they might look like... They might look like... They might look like who like who is this person they're getting suspended they don't want them okay the third thing is friends you know it's okay to have friends but don't go around thinking that everybody's your friend everybody that talks to you or that you talk to was your friend think that everybody like nobody's gonna do you dirty i promise you with in high school somebody's gonna do you dirty i'm not saying all your friends are fake and to drop them and no but somebody will do you dirty. And you know, it's okay to be alone. It's like, it's not bad to be alone or to not have many friends. Like me, I have friends, but the people I really call my friends, like I have a few, very few friends like that I go out with like all the time or that I am really hanging around in school. I forget that like a lot of people know me. I just don't talk to people. Like I be keeping to myself. I really just, I be walking, sometimes I don't even see my friends in the hallway. Sometimes I just I walk my ass to class. Like I just have my headphones in. I have my AirPods in all the time. And I got some new JBL headphones, so I'm going to have that on all the time. I'm not gonna hear a word anybody says. I can't even hear you bitches in the hall. It's okay to just be walking alone or just be alone and not have a whole bunch of friends. It's, I feel like it's actually better that way because if you have, I feel like if you have a bunch of friends and you know you tell your business to people, they use it against you because that's what teens be doing, and I feel like that's weird. But. Four, number four, um, relationships. You know, dating in high school. Dating high school is fine, but uh, fuck that. <laughs> no, nah. Dating in high school is fine. But, you know, you have to be able to balance it out with your grades and, like, all those other things, sports, whatever else you have, like, you're doing. Because some people, when they're dating someone, they dedicate their entire life to that one person. And they start slacking off on things, whether it's they stop really talking to their friends as much or they stop doing their work as much because they're just so focused on that person. So, you know, if you are ready to be dating and stuff in high school you have to be able to balance it out 
And if you're a freshman, do not fall for these devious ass seniors because they're not gonna do anything but dog you. I didn't mess with no them. And wait! A freshman dating a senior is actually um illegal. If they're 18, which a lot of you are turning 18, so don't, you seniors, don't be dating these freshmen. Because why are you dating a, that, that's a child. I mean, we're all children, but you gonna be a damn grown up. So what you look like dating a damn 14 year old or 15 year old and you're 18. Don't, okay, I don't wanna say that don't think like true love is real in high school, but a lot of the time it's really not really not like you, you have your entire life to date don't think that you have to rush and like oh i'm never gonna find love type of stuff like you'll find it some way somehow you know and again dating is not everything on your school a lot of these people not even these boys but these girls too will dog you number five <clears throat> teachers don't don't disrespect your teachers like you may think it's cool you may think it's funny but like don't disrespect your teachers now not every teacher is the same not every teacher is gonna like some teachers don't even like working with kids which does not make sense to me because if you're working in a place full of kids and you don't like kids why are you working there? it's not it's not that good of a pay so what you working there for? If you do have disrespectful teachers, like who are disrespectful to you, not you being disrespectful to them, and they think they can just like pick on you, please do stand up for yourself because although they are teachers and they have more authority over you, you're still a human being and they shouldn't be trying to pick on you or think that they're like better than you just cause they're older. Cause I've definitely had those cases and I've definitely gotten into arguments with teachers. I mean, don't get in trouble, but you know, do stand up for yourself because it comes to a point where them teachers be thinking that they could just keep disrespecting a child and feel like it's okay and it's not. But do build some relationships with your teachers. They will help you out. If they see you slacking off, they will help you out. You know, get on their good side. And you know, if you ever need like a letter of recommendation, those are the people to go to. Number six is to be prepared. Be prepared, be prepared, be prepared. Just be prepared. Make sure you bring like pencils, pens, erasers, notebooks, folders, a charged computer. You don't want to be that kid who's like, oh, can I get a pencil? Can I get a pen? Can I get a pencil? Every day. And the teacher, they, they don't want you to make that a habit. So some of them will be like, well, you should have came prepared. Or if you ask for a, a computer charger, they'd be like, you should have came prepared. Now you have to do it later when you're at home. You don't want to be asking people for stuff. Might as well just have your own. Number seven is your grades. Take your grades seriously. Like take them serious. Like be like serious about your grades because slacking off and just like playing around about it, it's not gonna get you anywhere. Make sure you come to school because for my school, which probably for other schools as well, attendance counts for your grade. And if you're not there, you can't do the work. So make sure you're in school. Make sure you're trying your best to get good grades because that's all that matters for real. And if you don't, then, I mean, it's bad if you don't get good grades, but at least you tried. If you do slack off and you're just like always in the hallways and you're never doing your work and when the teacher's teaching, you're just sitting there or you're on your phone or you're listening to music, you know, that's not going to be good for you because at the end of the day, the teacher's still going to pay. You're the one who's going to fail. Number eight is sports try to be involved try to get yourself out there for sports you know or clubs for sports like you know create a routine create like you know maybe put things in your calendar for like days you have practice or days you have games times and stuff like that so that you'll have time to also do your homework because or 
if you do have homework you know try and get it done in school if you can so that you don't have to worry about it outside of school number nine this is the last one hygiene i'm gonna have to say it again for you stink don't come to school smelling like shit don't come to school smelling like 10 cans of bounce that booty nobody wants to smell that i don't want to be walking in the hall and somebody walk past me and just smells like bo no like come to school okay this applies to certain people because i don't know everybody's living situation i don't know everybody's household situation you could be homeless i don't know but if you are you know and you you can't you do certain things to have your hygiene up then this does not apply to you if you don't have the money for certain things this does not apply to you this applies to the people who have money if you have enough money to be getting nike and be getting a bunch of designer brands and getting all these stuff why are you spending on that and not spending it on hygiene stuff and coming to school smelling like shit I don't want to smell that. She don't want to smell that. He don't want to smell that. It's as simple as using like Dove soap, Dove unscented soap. Your body don't need a whole bunch of scented things. That'll actually mess up your pH balance. Deodorant, deodorant, definitely wear deodorant. If you know that you sweat a lot, probably bring some deodorant to school. Or if you have gym as well. If you have gym, if you have a sport after school or something like that, you know, if you want to bring some baby wipes, bring some deodorant, bring a little perfume. First off, actually, putting perfume over an unwashed body, an unwashed, stinky body does not mask the smell. It actually makes you smell worse. Definitely come to school, wash, whether you wash the night before or you wash the morning of, wash your ass, but, you know that's the end of this video um i really hope that y'all enjoyed this video especially if you're a freshman you know good luck on your high school journey you're going you're gonna have a lot of fun though you're gonna have a lot of fun yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video make sure you like comment subscribe turn on that notification bell so that you're notified every time i post a new video and yeah bye